हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू द सेल्सो हल्क चैनल दिस इज आज द हल्क शो एपिसोड नंबर थ्री जीरो So today I've got three questions from three different people asking something which might be important uh, for you as well. So the question number one is from Raghavendra Habu, and Raghavendra asks me uh, that he has got already got uh, 19 years of experience into my, Microsoft uh, technology, and he wants to move into Salesforce. Uh, whether it should, it should be the right choice for him or not. Uh, before answering this question, Raghavendra, I would say. Uh, If you'll just add six years into your experience, uh, that is exactly what my age is right now. So <laughs> I don't think I'm the right person to answer that. But as long as uh, my knowledge and my experience into Salesforce uh, uh, like is, I think the move from a Microsoft technology to a Salesforce uh, technology would be beneficial for you. Uh, why? Because it's uh, it, like it's a booming technology, and there are very less people who have already got. this huge experience into implementations and uh, into deliveries uh, who are already in in salesforce so your previous experience of uh, yeah getting implementations done or getting deliveries done for uh, different different b2b clients that you might have or different different clients that you might have uh, is definitely going to help you a lot into salesforce as well because salesforce is again a b2b company similar to microsoft uh, technology or similar to microsoft uh, whichever technology we're working in uh, earlier in microsoft so i think you should move into it uh, and the 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 concern that you have is uh, that you, you, okay so what you have said in here is if i would switch to salesforce then which track i should choose as no one would want me to join as fresher okay so everyone would be uh, more than willing to join uh, to have you as a fresher because uh, as a fresher they would have to pay you less compensation uh, but this is something that you would not want to go ahead with Uh, so I think that what you are asking is that uh, please suggest me a path in which I should not uh, be considered as a fresher into Salesforce rather than someone who is already an experienced person. So the best path for you would be definitely a consultant, uh, uh, yeah, a technical consultant or a business consultant uh, in Salesforce technology because your previous experience would be counted as uh, as as a relevant experience if you would switch uh, from Microsoft technology to Salesforce. so don't worry about it the years of experience that you've got into microsoft is definitely going to be very very helpful for you to transition your career from microsoft to salesforce and it will definitely be a rewarding one so don't wait uh, too long for it uh, just go right into it and uh, the best path that which i think for you uh, should be is of a consultant if you uh, if you were already into de- uh, like deliveries and implementation and stuff like that but if you're a technical person then uh, you should start working as a developer initially and then move uh, your track towards being a technical consultant not technical consultant but a technical architect uh, so yeah these are two paths that you should go for rather than anything else so question number 2 is from raghav saxena raghav says hi shre after long try i got a chance to move into the salesforce ecosystem congrats i have to work on velocity that's even amazing uh so what so like it is it worthful working on velocity as i am from a pure coding background and it seems to be like a drag and drop platform over salesforce just need your guidance in this please do reply whenever you are available okay so raga uh velocity let me tell you uh, to all the all of the other users who do not know what velocity is velocity uh, was earlier an application on app exchange uh, having predefined implementation for different different sectors or different different uh, Yeah, industries uh, on top of the Salesforce CRM itself, and uh, now it is acquired by Salesforce uh, only, and uh, it is rebranded as Salesforce Industries, right? So, working on Velocity is definitely going to be way, way, way more rewarding for you than working on to the core cloud. Of course, uh, working on to the core cloud has uh, got its own benefits and everything. but there are people out there who are dying to work on to velocity because it's something very new not so new but yeah very new uh when like uh, i mean very new f- uh, for a lot of people out there who are uh, looking for opportunities into this particular technology but are are not available with one and uh, so i would highly highly recommend even though it it is even though if it is a drag and drop tool uh Don't worry about it. Just build your career onto Velocity. Uh, make your name as uh, as a Velocity expert. Make yourself identified as a Velocity expert, and uh, the sky will be the limit for you because it's again, it's it's too early to get into Velocity, and you are already into Velocity. Uh, and uh, I mean, yeah, the early bird gets the worm. So uh, 
you you might have a lot of uh, potential uh, coming down like down down the years you might see a lot of opportunities coming uh, to you automatically without even looking for it if you'll get experience into velocity so i would highly 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 recommend you to not uh leave velocity or salesforce industries and move towards uh, the core cloud or just being a salesforce developer because there are there are a lot of uh, people out there already uh, who are say, who are salesforce developers or who have got a lot of experience into salesforce development but very 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 few in velocity or salesforce industries so yeah this is a perfect thing that you can do for yourself in your career don't leave this so the third and the last question is from yashu uh, yashu asks that uh, Uh, she has got uh, eight years of experience as a quality analyst uh, in a non-IT uh, industry, and uh, she's also an MBA graduate. And she's asking that, what? Yeah, whether it would be the right choice to move towards being a Salesforce QA or move towards Salesforce as a career. And uh, if yes, then what courses or classes in Salesforce should uh, she join? So okay, yeah, she. Uh, if you want to move towards uh, an it uh, like into in, if you want to move towards it sector or it industry and uh, if you are getting an opportunity to work as a, like as a salesforce qa there's nothing better than that uh, which can happen to you so don't leave this opportunity it's high time uh, when you can make your uh, like yeah when you can make your entry into salesforce as uh, as a salesforce qa and it is it is going to be highly rewarding number one uh, there are very less salesforce qas out there uh, all of the people want to be a salesforce developer but very few actually want to be a salesforce qa so actually there is a shortage going on of salesforce qas out there in the market uh, which not a lot of people are identifying um, after that uh, yeah it's it's very high paying as well uh, and if if you already have an experience as a qa you've got that mindset you've got that thing in you to actually test applications or to actually uh, test the yeah functionality or whatever we are developing onto anything so it is going to be very very helpful for you or it is going to be very very easy for you uh, to test the applications and, uh, and stuff into salesforce as well and it's it is really really not that difficult as it used to be in other technologies by the way so yeah go for it and uh, the next question is what courses or classes that, uh, in salesforce should i join all what you need to learn is uh, salesforce app builder and administrator part uh, you should be good in that because that is something uh, which you would need in order to be a salesforce qa and uh, sometimes uh, you also have to write down in fact a lot of times depending on to the organization that you're working for uh, a lot of times or sometimes you also have to write down uh, the test classes for which you need to uh, learn apex so yeah these are the two things that you need to learn the admin part or the app builder part which is just the point and click thing that happens into salesforce uh, so you can join any course for that uh, or you can just do it uh, with the free uh, course that we have also posted on our channel uh, link will be posted down in here and uh, or over here and yeah apart from that uh, you also need to learn or you might need to learn uh, apex because uh, with apex only you'll be able to write down uh, test cases uh because it apex like salesforce provides or yeah apex provides its own testing framework for which you might have to write down some test cases uh which will automate the testing and everything so for that you need to be very hands on uh with apex so you can also learn apex and that is again you can learn from the videos of salesforce hal that's it see you in the next video till then bye bye take care